Hey everyone, welcome back to Simpit Academy. We look at the heart control panel today. We are almost done with all the um, important components of the Strike Eagle carpet. When we are done, Later, we will also look at some optional um, panels. So this is the second last um, important panel. After that will be the UFC. So as you can see here, the heart control panel is kind of small. You have uh, some parts, three parts, two toggles, some push buttons. And then a small bit button here, and there's nothing here, just a hole, and the light is not functional, there's no code for it. So this width here, the one that I built, I align it with the UFC, and the UFC is determined by the Trashmaster uh, MFD, which by itself is kind of small. So both UFC and the HUD um, are much smaller than the real one due to the fact that I'm just building it slightly bigger than the, the Thrustmaster Cougar. Okay, you guys decide um, on the size. I'm just showing the method. You don't have to follow everything exactly. You can adjust to whatever size you like. So this is a size that I've come up with. This is actually the third version. Um, after I built this, I realized it was actually too small to fit um, the box. Okay, so anyway, this is the final dimension that I have. This one is popping up here separately because um, whenever I have text that has BR, I will have problem and I have to split them into different letters or use extrusion instead of padding different methods to fix the error for the text so anyway you have a T shape very fat T shape and P is for part toggles three-way toggles a push button and four more push buttons these buttons here are also light indicators so you need to get the right type. So flipping over at the bottom, you have the bottom recess for the two toggles. And this is a push button. And here we have top recess for the parts. Here we have rectangular recesses at the top. And um, so the, the switches here, the buttons actually sit slightly below the panel. Okay, and we draw some lines and pad them. So then we build dividers and pad up. <clears throat> then we have two holes here to mount this panel to the box. I'll explain what, what is the box about. So index holes uh, at the bottom for the part. The part has those um, locking pins sticking out so that it doesn't spin so you want to build them it can be any orientation it um so because our knob the neural type can be repositioned so it doesn't matter wherever you find space okay just put a put a locking hole there so this is how it looks like okay uh, top recess these are the locking holes from the bottom and 
these two are the mounting holes this is the bit light the bit button the two toggles as you can see the light indicator push button will be mounted from the top down and be stopped here by this bottom part here so we now do the box as you can see the panel is not sitting with the console surface it's protruding out quite a bit so will the UFC and this whole board is actually tilted uh, away from you like 10-15 degrees while this one tilt towards you okay um, it's kind of tricky so you want to build a box you pet 70 for me since it's quite uh, quite high all right so after you build the panel you build the box and then as you can see here we built two slots here with the hole to mount uh, we have two holes here okay to mount the whole panel to this box so it'll be like this right and then the bottom here the four corners you want to um this is like flipping looking from from below okay the four corners you have four square slots and holes to mount this bottom here to the console surface then this two to mount the the panel so this is how it looks like okay then we also have a rectangle on both sides to um, cover I'll show you in a second so the way I mounted it there's a gap so I'm building this rectangle like this two holes you put it flush you put it um, this will sit on top of your control panel the hard control panel and you put two screws here so you cover the gap all right this is how it looks like the way I tilt the UFC and the heart there's a gap so it was tricky to determine this to to have this come down like this so I just cover the gap so depending on how you want to do it okay so this is the box I was talking about the t-shaped box and then these two are uh, to hold the panel and then some more inside to mount it to this board obviously you want to paint this board so we have two toggles one tiny push button as the the bit um, button and then three parts and four slightly rectangular um, light indicators with the push buttons okay as noted here there are two types by the same seller so i made a mistake of initially buying this one i saw the shape i saw the color i picked it you see here there are only two legs plus and minus so that is just an indicator like without push button you cannot push it doesn't move okay and there are no legs for it so don't get this one so this is the one i got you see a, more, a lot more legs here it looks complicated i will show you how to wire this you want to look for white because um, I believe the light is white and it's slightly rectangular it's not square then you want to pick 6 volts to use the Arduino power and avoid using external power okay and this has got to be a, a momentary switch and not a latching one so this will be the perfect now this is grayed out because the current vendor I think they have sold out the six fold one so okay how do we do it so 
the four push buttons here they happen to also light up when you press it when you press ag ag lights up when you press nav nav lights up okay so it shows you which one is being pressed which mode uh, which master mode you're in so if this is ag see there are two pairs here this is normally close normally open and this is c for common which means the ground so this is a pair this is like a push button um the the normal um digital input and then the ground this is the plus minus for the light so this is you do this four times right each one of the switch at the bottom the plus goes to the light for the respective mode and then the ground so you can daisy chain the the ground so you don't have two ground wires just one ground wire okay one master mode for each of the four and then one light for each of the four so so this looks complicated but actually you just have two pairs okay so wiring is quite simple then dcs bios we have 42 3 4 5 as the mode right and then 46 7 8 9 for the lights so see here the lights 46 to 49 42 to 45 as the master mode then the rest are standard right parts here toggles and a push button here and then this is just a hole there is no code for it there are I think two other places where we see bit buttons and so far there's no code for the the bit so it's just for show sure. okay other than that this panel is quite small and quite simple to build the trick is to have to raise it up enough um, and also the angle to tilt towards you while the the main front console tilts away from you so you have to figure out those angles that make sense to you depending on the dimensions and the size of everything you you build all right so this is the panel finished product as you can see here i chose a tiny tiny push button paint it black um, i think the default one is red so i paint it black then this is just a hole it doesn't do anything i didn't have any leds behind it then you push this they will light up okay this is the rectangular white indicator and you print something black and this time around i use a cutout so i can so that you can see the light if the white letter is too white too obvious you want to dim it you can slightly paint this gray or black um, so that when you put this cover on top okay this one here 15 by 11.8 when you put it o over it um, you the white will not be so obvious now this here has to be th this actually is like 14 by 18 right but you see this cover is smaller because when you put this cover on this here you want it to be still be able to push down okay here at the sides there is a plastic uh, kind of like a fence so you want to make it has to be still small enough for the whole button to push down without the cover preventing it from going down all right now we take a look at how this panel works.